Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Coffee Thoughts with uh, yours truly, Pastor Joe Johnson here at Goffstown Harvest. And uh, last time we got together, uh, I started filling in on a series that we're doing here at the church and talking about uh, faith fundamentals, walking in faith, and uh, understanding how important it is that, uh, you know, the Lord said this, and people, I, I know for me, uh, I do a lot better when someone tells me why I should be doing something. As a matter of fact, when I was a kid, I used to ask my parents, well, why is the sky blue? Why is this? Why? And I, for me, if I know why or you know the reasons for doing things, it really helps me, especially with some motivation if I know that there's an end game. Well, there's a reason why you and I really, really should learn how to walk in faith. And that's because God said, uh, not even basically, He came right out and said, without faith, it's impossible to please him. And uh, that word impossible, I, we talked about this a little bit last week when we were together. That is, as we would say here in New England, a wicked big word. And uh, when something's impossible uh, with God, we want to pay attention. And he says, look, if you're going to make me happy, if you and I are going to work together, uh, boys and girls, then you're going to have to understand faith. And now, if you remember from last time we got together, the reason why I'm leaning on my golf club, uh, not just because I'm looking forward to being able to start playing here in about a month or so, is I was comparing walking in faith to grooving in a golf swing. We talked about last time when we got together, Vince Lombardi, uh, when he would have football practice. At the beginning, uh, before they got started, he'd hold up a football to the players and say, hey boys, this is a football. In other words, it's about fundamentals. Let's remember and work on them at all times. Well, walking in faith and seeing the good of, goodness of God and experiencing yourself the goodness of God really comes down to fundamentals. And one of the things that we likened it to is grooving in a golf swing. And if any of you have ever tried to play golf, we talked about this last time, uh, as a matter of fact, I got some friends that are going to be teaching this year that they want to pick up the game. I can already tell you what's going to happen. They're going to grab the club like a Neanderthal. They're going to start swinging away at the thing like it was a baseball bat. And if they even get lucky enough to hit the ball, uh, it's going to go either way to the left, way to the right. We call them slices and hooks and so on. Now, with some coaching, if I do my job right and help them with the grip and how to groove in a swing, pretty soon they start smacking that thing really good. They start to enjoy the game. and. And I want to submit to you, using that illustration, that uh, walking in faith and walking in the things of God are exactly the same. And I would submit, uh, I know I have, uh, maybe you, someone you know, uh, they've, they've asked God for something. They've, they've asked God for, to answer a prayer, whatever. They need to get healed. Maybe they're praying for a loved one. Maybe whatever they needed, they prayed. And it didn't happen. And pretty soon, uh, you have a couple of duck hooks and slices and things don't work, you end up walking away and not even wanting to play anymore. And sadly, too many Christians, that's their experience when it comes to walking with God. And if I, can I just share this with you based on the Word of God? It is, it's not normal not to get your prayers answered. Duck hooking and slicing in the things of God is not normal and it can be fixed with some simple coaching and here's the key, practice fundamentals. I'm going to leave us with this verse, and this is what we're going to pick up next time we get together. Uh, it doesn't get any more fundamental than this. What does the scripture say? This is in Romans chapter 4, verse 3. What does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. Abraham, the apostle Paul, calls Abraham the father of our faith. In other words, we're going to walk in the steps of dad, in dad's steps. We're going to understand that God came to Abraham, said X, Y, Z, this is what we're going to do. Abraham took time, he looked at it, he looked at his circumstances, he went, okay, I believe you. And if you and I can keep it that simple, okay God, you said it, it's a done deal. If we can start our swing there, that, my friend, is, doesn't get any more fundamental than that but it's where we'll start to see successes in God. So let me leave you with that. Go ahead and take that look at that verse. Matter of fact, next time we get together, spend some time in Romans 4, spend some time looking at Abraham and how he did things, and uh, you'll be able to follow along really good next time we get together. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.